All right, guys, welcome back. Going into the third hour here of roleplay, Mirror Shades. Uh, Adam, what's up? I am freed from your suburban prison. Um, you've all, I mean, there's, I guess there's no, there isn't actually any suburbs in Tokyo anymore. Um, you, you guys are, are able to like leave the house now. Um, how, Bonbon, bon, how do you want to get the Shadow Runners to their, uh, their location? Uh, I mean, also, I guess... do you want to do anything before you go? Either. Um, um, can I at least, um, like, do I do I come over with any sort of indication as to where my dad is or what he's doing or contact or anything like that? When was last When was last time you talked to him? I realized. So I realized this in the last the last game. I totally forgot to mention it. Your character, like Bonbon, bon is basically a protagonist from a Pokemon game. <laughs> in that, like. Your mom is around, and you talk to your mom sometimes, or whatever. But no one has ever seen your dad. He's just like somewhere far away. <laughs> uh, then it's been a while. It's been a while. But you know, like birthday cards and Christmas get like all that stuff comes. So it's yeah. it's, it's been like five years, maybe. So. Okay. All right. And has he been in in uh, Japan the whole time, or does he like travel for business, or supposedly? Okay. Supposedly. Got it. Say. So, um, I mean we could take the rail, by the way. It's Okay. Your mom your mom probably like would have told you you know what you forgot to do before you left. Yeah, I thought about it a few times. <laughs> so maybe maybe you think so of that. Back. Yeah, maybe you're like Well, mom would know where dad is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I could send an email that's cleverly crafted that says, Mom, super emergency job, had to had to go to Tokyo. Um, I know I owe you a dinner, but is Dad over here? Where can I find him? Okay. All right, so you want to send your mom uh, an email like that before you leave? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um... So you, uh, yeah, you take the you take the train. Um, it's like getting to be evening, so the train into the city uh, is is quite full um, with people, you know, getting off of work and going to like go to the bar or whatever. Um, and uh, so there's lots of like business people. Again, like you have to wait if you want to wait with crush, you have to wait because only one in every like five trains has <laughs> a, like special foreigner car. Do we have to wait like a long time? Because I know we have an hour. Um, no, you have, like, it, a long, it's a long time by, like, Japanese train standards, so, like, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, as long as it's going to get there in time. I think mm -hmm. we wait. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think, I think, okay. leave, I think leaving Crusher alone would probably be bad. That's too. what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, all right, Crusher, we will see you there. Have fun in Japan by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Um... So the the address is a couple of blocks away from um, from the train station in uh, in Shinjuku, and Shinjuku is a, a like a lot of the big corporations have their headquarters here. Um, so the the roads and sidewalks and stuff are all like Japanese imperial territory, but there's a lot of corporate like extraterritorial space. Um, there's like huge Renraku signs everywhere. Like they're the biggest corporation in Japan. Um, you know, big red pyramids uh, on everything. Um, but you also recognize a bunch of other sort of familiar names um, on the sides <laughs> of buildings. Uh, the, the logos are all um, not for, like, consumer products, but for corporations. Um, and the, uh, the area that you're headed to, um, you go down, like, a side alley, and there's a bunch of, um, like, bars uh, along the side of this, in this, this alley, like little tiny bars. Um, but... While they look like, um, you know, like traditional kind of like Japanese like little drinking establishments, you notice that they're all like corporate themed. Like um, they all belong to or like incorporate the Shiwase logo somewhere in them. Um, and uh, they're just like packed full of standing and sitting uh, like Japanese businessmen and women who are having their first biru of the evening with their bosses. Um, the alley is like thick with like the blue of like cigarette smoke under the, the like neon light from the buildings above. 
Uh, and one of the bars is where um, Takahashi-san wants to meet you. All right. Are we early or on time or late? You have you, you you arrive with enough time to decide whether you want to be early or on time or hold back. Um, I think it'd be a good idea to be a little bit early at the establishment and not go through that awkward whole thing where you have to like go through. Are they here? Like, l let me check. Yeah, yeah. You know, like who's these? Yeah. So, if everyone else agrees. Actually, I'm the lead. I don't give a fuck what everyone else thinks. <laughs> We're gonna go there two minutes early. Okay. All right. So you get there early, and when you show up with Crusher, the people in the the bar like finish up their drinks and then decline additional drinks when the bartender is like, "Oh, get your refill." They're like, "Yeah," and take off. And then you're left with this like mostly empty bar. The the floor like it's it's like a main floor, and then they have a basement which. Again, like tiny little stairs um, that you could get into. Uh, Crusher, you could take up like three spots at the bar yourself. Um, and the bartender just kind of like looks at you, and then he looks at something like under the under the bar, and then he looks at you and kind of like nods and gestures like for you to come over. For Crusher, all of you, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so he he says in in Japanese uh, to you, um, uh, uh, Bon Bon. He's like. Um, you're Takahashi-san's friends. Right. He, he looks and he, he gestures to Crusher. He's like, uh, he says to you, Crusher, in like, in English, he's like, don't worry about those assholes. They're backward. This whole country. I'm sorry. Um, and you notice I he's wearing, it. he's I wearing like, um, services to you, Crusher. <laughs> I feel like twice as VIP now. <laughs> whole bar to herself. So he's got a he's got like a white shirt um, with a collar and like a little black bow tie and an apron, um, and uh, he's got the sleeves rolled up on on both uh, uh, both sleeves, and under one you can see that his arm actually stops at the elbow, his like biological arm, and he's got like a cybernetic arm in like pink plastic like underneath, pink um, plastic, and uh, yeah, and he like. Um, yeah, he just like grabs a like a bottle off of the uh, off the shelf with his like cybernetic arm and like asks you what are you drinking and like goes to like pour you drinks. Um, I kind of just like look back at the rest of the group <laughs> before ordering a drink. No, I mean anything? I sit down and have a drink for sure. Yeah. Do you have anything like sugary, pink, with an umbrella, two umbrellas, anything like that? Yeah, he's listening like really carefully and he nods and he's like, yeah, I think I could make something for you. And like starts mixing a drink and while he's doing that, um, he's he's like talking to you and he, he says, um, he's like, have you been to Tokyo before? Like shake the drink. Who are you asking? He's, he's, saying, he's looking right at Night's ass. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, I'm on a tour here like once or twice. I don't know. I don't keep up with it anymore. He nods. He's like, I thought I recognized you. Night's ass, right? Yep. Ichiban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he nods. He's like, "Good to have you back. Have you been recognized yet?" <laughs> of course. Everyone wants my picture here. He uh, he, he like looks over your shoulder and kind of like up nods his head. And you look across the alley, and there are a couple of uh, Japanese businessmen like just staring at you. Like one of them's drinking, and the other one's like exhales slowly, and they're both just like staring at you. And when you look, they both turn away. Have a lot of people been doing that without me noticing, or just the kids? Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> I think you didn't notice it because it looked like they were staring at Crusher. <laughs> but yeah, you're getting a fair amount of like eyeballing uh, from uh, various people too. I actually um, accidentally look kind of surprised, as if this isn't normal, but it is. So I just say, "Yeah, I'm really sick of it." He uh, he laughs and he's like, "Well, price of fame, I suppose. It must be like this for you at home, I guess." Yeah, it's such a burden. Ring the drink. He's like, "Well, maybe this will help." And he gives you this like, like hot pink thing that smells kind of like grapefruit. With a he's put a little cocktail umbrella in it and then stuck another cocktail umbrella in the first one. Yes. A little double double decker umbrella for you. <laughs> and he like puts it on the counter. Kind of gives you like a a, ch a charming smile. I start chugging it down. What does it taste like? Uh, um, 
It's really good. Like, I don't know what Night's Ass likes to drink, but he somehow managed to guess. So why don't you tell me? Um, I don't know. Probably, like, a donut. And you know how there's, like, donut holes? There's just, like, an other donut inside of it. So, like, a super sugary double donut to go with a double okay. cocktail. Umbrella. With some, like, sugar on the rim of the glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not salt. Just, like, all sugar. Cool. A diabetes mimosa. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. So he, uh, yeah, he, he, he slides you your drink, and um, he makes drinks for everybody. Um, he's a really good bartender. Um, and uh, he apologizes to you, Crusher. He's like, we don't get a lot of, uh, and he kind of looks at you like he's awkwardly, like, not sure of the word to re- use to refer to you. Like, he doesn't know troll is, like, a racist thing. So he's like, we don't get a lot of use. Do you say anything? Do you, like, help him out? <laughs> no, I just, like, uh, well, a lot of what? Like, what do you... It's like, uh, you know, tall Americans here. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, tall Americans. Yeah, okay, yeah. I don't know why you're apologizing. That's not a... He just uh, he just gestures to the bar. He's like, uh, not a lot of room, I guess. Sorry. Oh, yeah, no, that's no problem. No, Don't worry about it. You can stand if you want. He gestures to the alley. Uh, he uh, He's like, uh, you can drink in the streets here if you want to. Japan, land of the free, right? And he like laughs like he's made a joke at his own expense, like he's apologizing by way of the joke. Just like, no, I'm, uh, I'm comfortable. Stop worrying about. It. We're all good. Okay. So, as he, as he gives everybody your like your drinks, and you've had a, a few, uh, a few minutes to, to drink. Um, you see down the the alley, um, a car like pulls up to the mouth of the alley, and um, Takahashi-san, Kenji, gets out and starts walking down the. Um, down the alley towards you. Uh, he's wearing a um, like a white suit um, with like a uh, like a silk like purple silk shirt underneath, unbuttoned, probably like a little farther. Th- he's in night mode. Um, he's got his sunglasses like hanging from his shirt, and uh, he's walking very confidently towards you through this like crowd of, uh, of Japanese like business people. Um, and you notice that like he looks at a few people and they like bow to him. Like a lot of people are recognizing him. And like bowing or like kind of drunkenly like waving to him and then getting embarrassed. Would we think this is the first time he's been out since he's been back? I mean, it's been two days, but we have no idea, right? Yeah, hard to say. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just wait for him to get there, I guess. Okay, cool. Yeah, so he he walks up. He kind of like nods at the bartender, like, thank you for taking care of my friends. Uh, And then says to to you... um, uh, he's like, you have drinks. Good, I'll join you. And he like the gestures, and the bartender gets him something. Like he obviously knows what he wants already. Um, and he uh, he sits down, and he's like, um, I'm sorry about the condition of the house. I haven't been back in some time. It's uh, not a property. I and he like awkwardly looks at Knight's ass, and then doesn't finish the sentence. And then he. <laughs> What was it, he saying? It's such. What did he say before? It's such. Yeah, a, he says. Well, he says. Uh, I'm so, sorry about the oh, state of the house. house. It's the not house a property. He takes ladies to bang them. He's, he's like, it's not a property I use very often. <laughs> and then he kind of looks at Night's ass like he doesn't want to explain anymore. Does he blush? Uh, he does not. <laughs> no, he just he just looks at her like I'm not gonna finish. Like not like he's challenging you, but he's just like, nope, don't need to talk about that anymore. <laughs> and uh, then. I, Do you know he, how many people well, solicit me, really? Out of all people that you think aren't going to be understanding, me? <laughs> me. Ichiban. <laughs> he says, he says uh, I, I merely want to be polite. I'm having some trouble relearning what's expected of me here in this country. I've been in America too long, I think. Is this the first oh. time you've been out? He, uh, he says, he, he nods, he's like, I've been in, and he like gestures over his shoulder, uh, been at headquarters basically the entire time that we've been back. I'm sure you'll forgive me for asking, but like when we were coming over here, we were under the impression that, you know, maybe the majority of your enemies were here. Is there any reason that you should be concerned or is this, is this your, your turf? Uh, he says, well... This is technically Shiwase territory, and as a subsidiary of the Shiwase Corporation, Fujara Technical Concern employees are protected by Shiwase corporate law here. 
I can't say the same for you necessarily, but and he, he just he like just just hold on and like pulls out a packet, like a manila envelope, whatever, folded up from his jacket, and he puts it on the bar and he said, But that should change. And he like slides it to you. Okay. I open it. Okay. So inside uh there are like credit card size like data um chips, basically like RFID kind of chips. And um you can see on them like your you there's like your picture um and like your you know your names um and uh yours like the three of you uh yours looks the same um they're all they they have some japanese text on them and some english um but yours uh breakdown uh is um uh like there there's are white the humans are white yours is green and crushers is black um and they have some extra sim like symbols on them um and as he's handing them out uh he uh, he says um, these are temporary Shiwase visas. Uh, they should allow you to remain relatively undisturbed by the police while you are here. And he, he looks at Crusher and he says, "No matter what happens, do not leave the house without that. That is a part of your body now. Do you understand?" What the fuck is everyone worried about me so much for? In <laughs> goddamn cunt. Yeah, I fucking understand this shit. You need to get some more drinks lined up. He says to you, um, he says, Crush your son, are you familiar with Yomi Island? Is no, I don't know what the fuck of? Yomi Island is. What the fuck is that? So he looks at Bon Bon like maybe you know. Um, and, and it's like, like he's looking for someone to share his embarrassment with where he's like, oh, I gotta explain something awkward. Uh, and he says, um, have you seen, to, to Crusher, he says, uh, have you seen any other orcs or trolls while you have been here? Uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, I've seen some in the commercials. He says, uh, that's... <gasps> and the second he says that, I'm like, yeah. the commercial was about, with the, I, do they put... <laughs> I suddenly get awkward too, and I'm like, <laughs> like kind of horrified. Yeah, he lets you be horrified. He lets you process that. <laughs> no, uh, no breakdown. It's okay because remember, Crusher's not what? a real troll. He's human underneath it all. Yeah, I'm human. What? No, it, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> yeah, it does. No. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> did we ever actually say that? I, I don't know. I don't think we've, we've ever. No, you didn't. Can I mark it down somewhere? Hold on. <laughs> you know, uh, you're at least one third human, going by the age. Yeah. You know, no, I, I live my life. You know, ten years as a human, and now I'm doing better. Oh yeah. You... <laughs> Are you gonna get offended by that? Or you? <laughs> Poor Nightset. <No. laughs> All right. So he. Uh, yeah, he says to you, Crusher, he's like, uh, Yomi is a place where our government houses people of your genetic disposition. Oh, well, what'd they do to go over there? They kill someone? He shakes his head. They were born that way or became like you over time. They were deemed unsafe. It's complicated, but... The government assures its people that they are happy there. The island is protected. And uh, if you have that card, and he like like points at it or whatever, if you pay, if you picked it up, he says, then you have some limited protected status. We can't obviously intern foreigners there, but it will only last so long. And it would be better if you stayed with one of your human friends. Yeah, sure. Okay, whatever. We can make sure that's arranged all the time. Um, yeah, these two are never going to leave each other's side. These, the breakdown and the bonbon. Like, choke on my drink a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind if they go upstairs, do you? Oh, but Those... <laughs> crush it, please. <laughs> all right. I just kind of like take a drink and maybe laugh to myself. <laughs> so, we've got these cards. Thank you. What's what's next for us? He uh, he says um, the woman that you spoke to in Seattle, uh, she's on her way back to Tokyo uh, to finish what she started there or thinks that she started. Now, Hakiko has 
tricky. She does not work for Fujihara Technical Concern, but is a part of a board of management in the Shiwase Corporation, responsible for acquisitions and mergers. It would be on her best interest to be rid of me. She's the one trying to take my control of the corporation away. And the best way to do that is to dishonor and have me disappear. Now, I'm not worried for myself yet. I don't need you to play bodyguard, but I need you to find out what she's up to. I can't do it, and none of my friends here are going to be in a position to do it, because we're all known to her. This is the advantage of having foreign shadow runners at my disposal. I guess you and made he, a good decision there. He, he nods. That remains to be seen, but I have faith. <laughs> and he, uh, he takes out um, uh, like a, a flight itinerary and, and puts it on the bar. And he says, um, uh, he says that uh, this is her f flight information. She'll be arriving in Narita tomorrow. I need you to follow her, see where she goes, surveil her, try to remain hidden, but, and he looks at Crusher. Yeah, Takashi, that, I, don't even look at me. I understand where you're going. <laughs> he looks at you and says, but there is an element of intimidation present as well. Feel free to make your presence known if necessary. I don't want to tip my hand yet, but it is good if she knows that I'm ready for her. Whoa. So... We just did a job for her, though. Like, what would she make this connection? <sighs> I'm afraid to someone like Nakamoto-san, you will seem out of place, but the likelihood of her recognizing you specifically, her work with you is done. You are nothing to her. So we can use this to our advantage. <laughs> Oh, I thought all this right. was going and no, can, all uh, look the same to her. Takashi. <laughs> I mean, that's probably also true. <laughs> that's also probably true. Which actually isn't true because um, the um, the genotypes uh, exhibit cultural traits depending on where they're from. So they only look different. Uh, uh, Takashi, can we uh, can we get some car or something? I, I don't want to go on the public transportation again. He, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, I will speak with uh, Shizuka-chan and see what she can do for you. Okay. I thought you said we couldn't drive the cars into the neighborhoods, like only the he, so he didn't he didn't fancy, say that fancy cargo. Well, I I mean that's what was said, Crush. If you'd listen, maybe. Mm. Yo, I heard I that. Just, I'm just talking to this guy because he knows it better than you do, and he's our information. I will look into it. I'm sure we can procure a vehicle for you of some See, sort. You just gotta ask every now and then, Bonbon. Bon. All right. Well, then let me ask something else, Takahashi. I I I gotta imagine that uh, your corporation over there, you've got quite the the extensive uh, crew of security experts and your own arsenal of hackers. And uh, you know, I, I I know that I can I can make some strides in this country with my own skills. I'm wondering if maybe you won't let me borrow one for a little bit to uh, sharpen up some skills I've been hoping to sharpen up on. You... So that they may become sharp. Right. <laughs> He's sharp. He picks it up. Um, he, uh, he says, uh, if you think that you have time for something like that, yeah, you got time to get away from the mission, Bonbon? You know, it's an easy job. All right, like I wasn't suggesting in the next couple hours. Oh, come, I thought, I mean, you spent so much sake, time here at our we meeting. We some fucking hacking here. I was talking about maybe after the job. I don't know, in between. I'm sorry, Takashi. Like, we maybe... got to do your We got to go get some uh, learning on the hacks or something. I don't even All right, understand I this assume shit. Takahashi is a busy individual as well. Like he, you know, he, he needs some time to set something like that up. So... You tell me, Takahashi, so will I have time? If you're willing to put the work in and spend your time working with someone, I will send someone to speak to you. All right. You can tell me if they're adequate for your purposes. All right, great. Takashi, <clears throat> I apologize profusely for my friends quarreling. They're American. They're just so stupid because they're stupid Americans. <laughs> <laughs> hate so Americans. He, he's sitting. He's sitting next to you. He's between Bonbon bon and uh, uh. and he like he puts his hand on your hand. Um, nice ass and is like, don't worry. 
Their Americanness is precisely what I need them for. This brash attitude will serve me very well, I think. But thank you for asking. And he kind of look, like looks at you like, yeah, good work. You yeah. watched that whole thing with the look I still on really face, like, like you. Like, kind of confused. Like, <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right. So we'll uh, we'll follow her. Maybe some intimidation. Yeah, no, I'll just stay in the car. Then if you guys have an issue, I'll just open the door and wave my hand. And then we're all good. And then what? You want us to just report what we find? You need to know where she's going? Yes. You know, who picks her up? All right. We can put a bird on her, too, so that in case we lose her, we have a backup plan. Yo, uh, do we bring that bird with us, or is he still back at the house with the cat? (laughs) (laughs) It's just like... Pause for a second. All right, he's in a cage, like the best cage money can buy. Oh, we left him in the cage. Okay. <laughs> One sure, just key. asking, whose cat is that, Takashi? He looks at you. I'm, I'm sorry. There's a cat in the house. Is that yours? No, I have never owned a cat. I'm allergic. Is this a spy? Can it be a spy cat? <laughs> He kind of like looks at you. Like, break down. Can they have spy cats? He's waiting, we got spy he's, waiting for, he's waiting for your friends to laugh at the joke, but they don't. And he's like, I. Uh, Yo, I'm not uh, joking. Is this a spy? The the cat. The, Yo, <laughs> she just said I can put my bird on. Why is it so fucking weird to everyone? <laughs> I'll I check mean, the cat when we get home. I'll check the cat. Yo, okay? check the fucking cat. I will. We'll interrogate the cat. Don't worry. We don't need to interrogate <laughs> the cat. You can talk to cats? To no, I just have to look at the cat. All I have to do is look at the cat, and then we'll know. Okay? okay all right. We just we just cut to like the house, and it's all quiet, and the cat's in front of the laptop with his night vision goggles. It's like. <laughs> <Spot it. laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool. Okay, so. Um, uh, Takahashi-san, uh, unless you encourage him to, uh, like, hang out, uh, he finishes his drink to be polite and then excuses himself to attend to, to business. Um, but, as, like, as he does so, he, like, nights ass, he looks at you, like, he, he's apologizing to you that he has to leave. Are you just it's like, cool. Later. That. Hi. <laughs> Okay. All right, so you let him go. He seems a little like, okay, like, fine. She doesn't want me to hang out. Not like he's hurt, but like he gave you the opportunity. And then when you, so you like respectfully wow. like. Oh, yeah. I say, well, you can like hang out with us if you want, you know. Uh, so he, he politely refuses. He's like, no, I'm, I'm very busy. Uh, I'm sorry. But wait. <laughs> God damn, Please, why is everyone Takashi, so fucking awkward with these? with us. Takashi, and if so, you want to hang so out with again, Night Sash, just so again, fucking sit like, down. I, I respectfully must decline. I have so much work to do. I, I should really get back to the office. No, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and so when you say it like the, the third time, he's like, well, I suppose I could stay for one more drink. And he like takes out a cigarette and like sits back down and like gestures for the bartender to bring more drinks for everybody. <laughs> I swear to God, you people are fucking weird. Like, <laughs> relationships are so fucking hard for you. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he. Uh, by, the, yeah. by the way, breakdown. What was that? What was that the other day? Crusher was saying. What? What was that like? Oh, oh yeah. He hadn't called fucking Hadia yet. Yeah. Oh, Relationships yeah. are really fucking hot, aren't they, Crusher? Yeah, yo, really yo. Hold on, hold on. Kids. Is that a it's relationship like bomb bomb, or is that just someone that you guys pushed on me? It. What? Just kind of throwing it. Yo, out I'm not there. avoiding shit. You hold. You watch your tongue break down. <laughs> I I like look him right in the eye and I say I read that letter. <laughs> then I just leave it. <laughs> I just kind of look at her. And maybe I just like sit back in my chair the entire time. <laughs> like put a leg up and then just sit there and stare at her the entire time. <laughs> yeah. So Ken Kenji's body language the whole time is very much like he he sits between like if if Knight says if you're at the edge and there's like the alley and you're here he sits next to you and has his back kind of like turned 
a little bit to everybody else. So he's like, no, no, we're talking now and like we're on a date. And yeah, your friends are here, but this is like, you know, you should talk to me because I'm the best. I see what's um, going on here. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, he's trying not to, like, he, if you if you address him or whatever, like, he'll turn and, like, talk to you. Like, he's still part of the conversation, but his body language is very much focused on uh, on Night's House. Um, and as long as you want to hang out at this, like, bar, um, the bartender will keep feeding you drinks. Um, and they're really good, so. Is he, <clears throat> like, really drunk at any point? No. No, no. He, um, he drinks really slowly. Um, uh. Unless you want to try to like, <laughs> sorry, JV. get him drunk. Um, no, I just I ask him um, to like talk about stuff, just like anything, and then I just try and act really into what he's saying. She's like, yeah, a lot. Okay. And then after a bit of that, I say, I don't know, something kind of blunt, like, I'm just like you. Wow, we have so much in common. We're both really normal, right? <laughs> okay. And and what are you trying to do? You're just trying to like ingratiate yourself to him and like be the be the person that he wants? No, just not just be odd. Throw... <laughs> yeah. All right, make a make a charisma check to not be a weirdo. <laughs> Is this still four? Target? Um Gosh, for night sass, isn't that like, you don't have like, yeah, you don't have like dating time. you don't have like dating <laughs> etiquette or anything. Um yeah, we'll say we'll say target number six. Got this. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So you actually do get into like a conversational rhythm where he kinda like figures out you're trying to engage and and he you know, like he helps out. And the two of you manage to have like a, a conversation. You get the impression that he's excited to be home, but also like kind of like I don't know if you know anybody like this, but like somebody who grew up somewhere and then expl explicitly like left because they were like, this place sucks. And I hate it here. And fuck you, mom and dad. I'm going to go to be cool somewhere else. And they go and then they move back and they're trying not to like, they're trying to, he's trying to hide that he's happy to be home because he's just like, well, and like he makes disparaging remarks about Japan, but also gets really wistful talking about like, oh, I remember when we were at that bar over there and he tells you like stories about like, you know, when he was just like a, you know, a young rich kid in Japan. Um... And uh, he just he just generally seems kind of like you get the impression that he's a little like nervous, um, but also excited to see what's going to happen now that he's home. I see. After he affirms that I'm not super weird, um, I feel really comfortable just like going all the way back. Just like <laughs> so. Yeah, I've also been here before. I just see like all my fans they are everywhere. Yeah, I think he he admits that he knew like. He he knew you seemed familiar to him the first time he saw you, and that he I couldn't place he, he couldn't place where he knew you from. But he knew he was like I, he was you were so charismatic he like had to talk to you and stuff. And then it wasn't until like recently that he realized that he recognized you from uh, I don't know maybe you did some like um, like a movie or something in Japan once. Um, you know when when your when your agent was trying to get you to branch out. You know, you're like, oh, you gotta go do this Japanese action movie. It's gonna be great. And uh, so, yeah, and then he's like, I saw you in that, and you were very attractive. And uh, yeah, and so they, uh, you, you, like, you bond over that. Um, what about Breakdown and Bon Bon? What are you doing while this romance is blossoming? Drinking. Yeah, That's just sweet. drinking. Talking. Nice. Hanging out. What kind of what kind of drinks do you drink, Breakdown and Bon Bon? I'm curious about this. I Breakdown is into more like earthy drinks, which is what he tells the bartender. Like mm -hmm. like like more whiskey style drinks, like sure. drinks that just taste more along those lines. So Yeah, camp campfire cocktails. Yeah, totally. Definitely cool. drinking sake. Okay. Awesome. Um Cool. Okay. So you're making the bartender work because you're drinking sake alone. So he has to keep pouring the glasses for you and they're tiny. Can't, can't so that's okay. break down. I could teach. We could share a moment. I could teach breakdown. Yeah. I was, I was okay. going to say like, if it, after it happens a few times, I ask like, can, why does, why does uh, he keep right, pouring it for you? You don't, you don't pour yourself your own drink. It's so. Why, why not? 
Well, actually, I have no fucking idea, to be honest with you. I just. Yeah, but your dad, that's how your dad taught you to drink, right? Right, like... right exactly. You know, while, while mom is sitting there going like, oh, she doesn't need to know all this stuff. Of course, dad wants to teach it anyway. You know, you. So he doesn't have to do it. Like, any, like I could do it for no, you. No, like I pour for you and you pour for me. But I don't okay. pour for me and you don't pour for you. Okay. So. so I pour for you? Absolutely. Then? Of course, you can pour for me anytime. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to fucking kill all three of you. What? Before this night is up. If I have enough fucking alcohol, you're dead. You're fucking dead. I just order another drink. Oh, what are you what are you drinking, Russia? We just have this moment of the two of them like looking at each other. Their eyes, their eyes are just big glowing hearts, and then you just like lean your head and you're like, "Fuck <laughs> this!" <laughs> yeah, like just like no, anger I, lines. I, I pictured it like you. they're sitting because I have to sit at the bar because it's such a yeah a, a small place, and they're like sitting at a booth or something behind me. <laughs> and I just have to sit there and listen because I'm just talk. I'm not talking to the bartender. Yeah, I'm just yeah, drinking. It's very small. Yeah. Oh god, that's so, so good. So I can hear the entire conversation. Oh, I swear! I swear to God, <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, awesome. then I go on to the the conversation trails off, and I'm I'm talking to breakdown about all the things we should totally do while we're in Japan, like go play pachinko and <laughs> go to one of the arcades and. Half the time, I have no idea what the words you're saying mean, but I'm like delighted to be having the conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. And I think I think that what happens is like you you're listing like oh we should do all these things while we're in Tokyo and because again like like Crusher said the the bar is all like close together. At some point, you're having this conversation. You're like three or four drinks in, and uh, Takahashi-san like turns around when you're saying that, and he he points at you um, and he's like. We should do karaoke. And then he oh. looks, at, looks at Night's ass like, huh? Yeah. Oh, we should we should definitely do karaoke. Definitely. All right. So you say that like you agree, and he like stands up and like pushes away from the t the bar, and and like wobbles a little bit, like he didn't realize how drunk he was when he was sitting down. And then like wobbles a little bit, and he's like kind of shakes his head. He's like, yes, we should go now. I know a place, and he like. Grabs your hand, Night's ass, and it's like, let's go, let's go, and like wants everybody to like leave. Uh, right? Yeah. Now? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right now. <laughs> like, look at Bon Bon, like. I got my drink oh. and I'm, I'm in. <laughs> oh, you just gosh. see the bottom okay. of Bon Bon's glass. <laughs> 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 it's just right. gonna have a up. sing breakdown? Mm, no. <laughs> so you have birdies. Birdies sing. <laughs> Do you sing in your spare time when no one's around? Uh, <laughs> you crazy breakdown. <laughs> oh, you crazy. <laughs> awesome. All right, so so the the four of you start to leave the the bar and the bartender is sitting there like he looks at you crusher like are you going to you going you going with these goons? <laughs> your friends are leaving. What? Uh, where are you? Where are you guys? Go I tuned you out. Where are you going? I like. I like stayed behind just a little bit, so I'm closer to Crusher. I'm like, apparently we're doing karaoke. Yeah, Kenji. Just Kenji has his like. He has his arm around Night's ass, and he's like, kind of like. He points at you, Crusher. He's like, yes, karaoke. It will be fantastic. No, I'll. I'll. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna stay here. You guys go have a nice little double date. We can't leave you alone. Crusher. Yeah, you can't actually leave you can't here. leave us. So yeah, he, he he like stumbles into the bar and like grab grabs your arm. He's like, "You have to come with us." And is like trying to like pull you off the chair, but like your arm is as big as his. Yo, can, can you get me a cab or something? I'll go check on Spy Cat. He's, he's like, "No, no, it is early. You have to come with us." Takashi, I don't think you want if if I have to go listen to these people sing, I will blow my own brains out by the end of the night. He shakes his head. You should not be so closed-minded, Crush-san. It will be fun. I'm sure Breakdown's have, not that bad. You don't have to sing, and besides, and he, like, leans in. He's like, if Breakdown is terrible, it will be very funny. Oh, come on. I'm just, I'm not good. I'm not good. No, being, being, being terrible is part of the fun, Breakdown-san. We should do this. Come on. 
and he's like like pulling on you like come on <laughs> come on man it's like like it's already a done deal he's just like we're going let's go yeah i down the drink and i just like regrettably <laughs> go okay all right cool what do you what were you drinking crusher like long island iced teas or something uh no the the bartender called it an asian hooker <laughs> he did so with an eye roll yeah it's an ironic drink here in Japan. Yep, it's an actual drink. <laughs> yeah, it totally is. It is. <laughs> cool. All right. So, you know, diagonal wipe to uh, like diagonal. a small, a small dark room with like a little disco ball going around and some like velvet benches and like a really nice view of the city through this like window and a screen and a little machine with some microphones coming off of it and. Uh, yeah, you're at karaoke with your boss. <laughs> um, Best shadow running job ever. <laughs> it's a good thing he's such a fun time. It is good. Um, yeah, so he like takes you out to this really fancy karaoke place. They know him here. Uh, you haven't seen him pay for anything the whole time you've been with him. Like, he just like gets in a cab and then gets out of the cab and leaves, and the cab goes away. Um, and I think that while you're so you're in the the karaoke place and maybe like Crusher, you're like coming back from the from the washroom or something. And uh, outside in the little like lobby, um, there are two kind of like drunk looking uh, businessmen. Um, they're like ties all undone and they're holding beers. And one of them like looks at you as you walk by, and he mutters something uh, in in Japanese like under his breath. He kind of like sneers at you. Yo, uh, what was that, sir? I didn't hear you. He he looks at you uh, and he says, uh, "You you like you have you have Japanese ones, so you recognize." He he says something about like uh, he's like, "I'm sorry, I didn't understand you," or like, "I don't I don't I don't understand." Like he's pretending like he doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, and okay. his, his friend his friend his friend is like trying to keep a straight face. Some funny here. I think your friend's laughing at me. He looks at him and then looks at you and he says, We were just talking about you people earlier. And I said, You belong on that fucking island. And he agrees with me, don't you? And he like pushes his friend and his friend's like kind of like, like leans back a little bit and like he's not really like paying attention. And he says, So why are you here ruining my night? Like, like pushes you a little bit. I uh, I snuck off the island. I'm here to kill some people. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of like stares at you, like he's not sure <gasps> if you're lying to him or like, oh my god. I kind of notice him doing stuff. that. And I just like crack my knuckles and be like, it just so happens that two people want you dead. I like <laughs> so that. To, I like that to crack to crack your knuckles. You would have to have some kind of like like sound card or something in them to like make cracking noises, or yeah. they just like. You have you had them built in such a way you make the transformers noise. Yeah. Um, and he he kind of like he looks at you and he's like, I am not afraid of you, demon, and like pokes you. And he's like, I am a Japanese. Like that's an answer. Like fuck you. We all hear this conversation. Uh, right? No, you guys are in the karaoke room. Oh, you can hear you can hear uh, you hear a duet between Night's Ass and 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 Takahashi San at full volume. Okay, that so he's like terrible. right outside the door. Yeah, he's in the he's in the like like cuz it's a um uh it's like a private karaoke rooms kind of right. place, not like a big yeah. Where did I put my like one big place? Yeah, and so he's just kind of in your face and like drunkenly like being like go back to Devil Island asshole. <laughs> uh what is his friend doing? Uh try not to puke. Oh, okay. Yeah, just like kind of like like burping into his fist. Okay. Uh, I kind of like look around uh, as if I'm uh, I guess interested in what he has to say. Mm -hmm. Just like, uh, how many of my people have you ever met before, sir? Maybe I'm just he, walking closer and closer to him. Okay, he like squints at you and he, he's like, my nephew was a beautiful boy before all this happened to him he like sneers and he's like so i haven't met enough 
Zero. Now you are overdoing it. Go home. And like, kind of like staggers back and like gestures wildly. Is your nephew on that island? He nods. Yes, where he belongs. Does uh, you got it? You got a name for this kid? He shakes his head. He's like, he does not deserve a name. It's like, well, that's a. Sa- uh, you know, I'm trying real hard not to just break your arms off. So I'm just gonna leave now, and uh, hopefully you shut the fuck up. Turn <laughs> around. I don't want to hear you talk anymore. And I'm sorry your nephew had such a shitty life. It's a shame that you made it even worse. And I just keep on walking. <laughs> okay, so he, like to your back, he just he just says he's like, you you don't catch the whole sentence, but you hear him say like he's like Baka Oni Gaijin, and he like says something like drunkenly to himself uh, at your back as you walk away. Yeah, I just keep walking. Cool. Okay. Um. <laughs> So you walk back and and yeah, open the door and then like the burst of sound uh, emerges as you return to the karaoke booth. Yeah, I just go and sit down back to the uh, in our booth. Okay. Whenever it's like just the instrumentals and there's no, you know, like, lyrics popping up, I'm just like yelling that I'm Ichiban. <laughs> I'm like, Ichiban. 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 I'm like Takashi, and I'm like. Nibon. No. Ichiban. <laughs> yeah. I am number one. You're number two. <laughs> ISS on the top. <laughs> um, cool. Okay. Uh, so I think that, yeah, Ta- Takahashi and, and Night's S spend most of their time on the mics. But, like, you know, they give... T- it's it's polite to, like, give space to other people. So eventually it comes around and it's like, it's your turn, breakdown. Mm-hmm. And, and Takahashi is like... <laughs> Holding the mic at you. Absolutely like, not. Nope. Come no. on, you can do nope. it. No. And he like looks at me and like, come on, come on. Like they want help, like cheering you on. I can tell. Please you... break down. Please no, sing for I think us. We want you to sing Everybody else is having so such bad. a good time. Everybody else is having such a good time singing. I can tell you want to sing another one. I'm <laughs> loving just listening. I love it right here. So he he points at Bon Bon. He's like, Bon Bon Chan, help me out. And like points to breakdown. Like you, you can help me convince breakdown to sing. Right? Yeah, like, I look at Bon Bon. Like, all right, it's, please do not it's betray fun. me right now. <laughs> it's, no, it's fun. Like, we'll find a song for you. It'll be they've got they've got songs in English too. No. It, how about I'll go up there and then you go up after me. <laughs> no. What? What? I don't. I don't. What? A, why? What's? <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, if everybody goes up there, including Crusher, if everybody goes up there at the same time, I'll go. You know, breakdown. You're a real piece of shit. Why I'm not even in this? He just wants you to sing. I'm not going up there and sing. Why not? Why do I have to do it? You don't. (laughs) Because they want you to sing. I want you to. I want you to sing. Yeah, but you're not trying to sleep with me now. Fucking go get up there with Breakdown and Bon Bon and Night's Ass and all them. You guys go have a fucking great time. This is fantastic. It's, It's so enjoyable. (laughs) <laughs> like look at Bon Bon like pleading like will you go up there with me just it, this, please I don't want to go up there by myself please oh uh, wait you want you want me to go up with you yes please <laughs> all right all right yeah I'd love to all maybe, right okay. maybe I so, sneak over to the uh to the song list okay yeah yeah however you best got, like, I can sneak control. yeah uh yeah. and then I choose uh when doves cry <laughs> How can you just leave me standing alone in a world that's so cold, so cold? Maybe I'm just too demanding. Maybe I'm Maybe just I'm like just my father, like mother, too bold. Too, Maybe, Maybe you're just, just like, like your mother. mother. She's, she's never satisfied. She's never satisfied. Why, Why do we scream at, at each other? other? This is what, this is it, what sounds it sounds like when the doves cry. cry. Oh God! <laughs> I'm just like laughing hysterically on the couch. I look I'm so sitting. uncomfortable up there, but like you can tell, I would look even more uncomfortable if I was by myself. <laughs> well, All right, well, that was just the best sounding shit ever. So <laughs> he, he killed it. 
we killed. Yeah, Ta- Takahashi Takahashi-san is like just blown away. Like just so happy. Just <laughs> so much applause. Like on his feet, clapping, cheering. So excited. How how, how, how are you? How, how are you reacting to this? Um, Night's ass. You're the professional. Well, well, first, what's funny is that Dodger's like probably the best singer here in like professional <laughs> levels of acting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really funny. But yeah, I'm just like going wild. I'm like super stoked. <laughs> Ichiban. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not Ichiban though. Still not Ichiban. It's beautiful. Sundan. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, I guess fade out on karaoke party because we're not going to get any better than that and um the next the next day i guess so what have you done rather than like sit and like plan it all out you can tell me what you've done in advance and we can just jump right to like um akiko like to nakamoto's arrival in tokyo how long do we have uh she arrives tomorrow morning the next like late or like early afternoon late morning yeah I'm so whatever, like yeah, whatever you've done to prepare for that in like pro Shadowrunner mode, uh, just let me know what that is, and then we'll we'll go right to the. All right. I'm gonna summon a bird when we know okay. that she's here. Okay. Um, to follow her, like from the moment she touches down. Is the plan? <laughs> I mean, are we gonna need to get a vehicle to like follow her in, and then hopefully the bird can like, you know, help out in that department. All right, did did Takahashi say he was going to get a vehicle? Yeah, so he can get you a um like an electronics repair van, like a um uh, like a decommissioned van that they have that will look um relatively like non-distinct just driving around, like a van that would go from like business to business like repairing things, that sort of thing. So you have like a cover vehicle for sure. Breakdown, remind me again. So can you like summon a bird and just be able to tell where our mark is or no the bird can... i can summon a bird and the bird will follow her but until the bird comes back to me you won't and makes know. a connection with me i don't know what it's seen so we could you just in case we lose her the bird always okay it's a backup plan it's all not right. the primary plan all right so we all gonna go do you uh do you need me there well, I don't know. What are you going to do otherwise? I mean, we never looked into that cat situation. <laughs> okay, fine. I find the cat. Where's the cat? <laughs> Where's the fucking cat? I know you're a spy. <laughs> All right. Well, we can we can have cat interrogation, I guess, after the break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. We'll All take right. a break. Uh, three hours down, one more to go. We'll see you guys in just a bit more. We'll play Mirror Shades coming up in just a bit.